hey y'all i just wanted to make this video real quick because i was trying to record it in there but it was in i didn't like the way i was saying and explaining stuff so i'm about to just sit and do it right here i know it's not in a setup but i just feel like it's something important to say yeah by the looks of the title is how to get respect number one rule is to not sleep with them no i'm not saying the typical little cliche rule people be like wait 30 wait 90 wait 60 whatever they rules people people have like i don't think y'all realize too guys have been caught on to them you should not be doing that rule you should be respecting yourself by doing it based on what have they done for you and if they are coming with that ring if there is no talk to that if it's no a, B, C, and D, da, 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 which what's supposed to be done in this relationship, what I'm asking for, what I'm seeing in front of me, what are you doing for me, what are you bringing to this house to provide, if it's none of that, they should, you shouldn't even be hinting on that subject, they shouldn't be hinting on that subject, if they do, you should be changing the conversation, not even three months is enough time for you to sit there and be like some, okay, well, he, he, this, and he, that, no, it's not no specific time, it's about, is he coming? with what you ask for him to come with okay as a christian girl you would know your self-worth and know that you have low self-esteem if you are out here giving it to different men and the reason why i say that is because most girls who go around here opening their legs to different people are girls who they want love so bad they want to get into a relationship quick because they want to be able to call somebody they man they're so in love with the idea of love that they're not even looking at the person who they're doing it with having bodies on bodies on bodies bring your right down you know it's hard to ask for a lot from a guy as a leader in a relationship when he has seen that you make almost every guy that you've been with in your life a leader. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't think y'all realize this, but every relationship that you're in, you do not have to sleep with that person. I don't know what's up with 2023 people, but y'all go around and sleep with every body it's diseases going out here like crazy people think it's okay to have one night stands to sleep with each other in a week to sleep with each other in a few months people think this behavior is okay and it's not and i feel like part of it roots from the fact that a lot of girls that i have been hearing about lately think that sleeping with a guy is to either get revenge on them or they feel like they're getting something out of the deal you shouldn't have to sleep uh, let me address the get out of the deal part okay you shouldn't have to sleep with somebody to get any form of respect to get any gift to get any of that you should not have to sleep with them if you do that's prostitution having a provider a girl asking for a provider is completely different than pro prostitution where i give something to you which is my important valuables on my body that god has given me for you to give me a meal or for you to take me to the mall or for you to do whatever that what you offering i shouldn't have to give something that's very valuable which is my body. god has given me this body my body is a temple that should be the number one thing you hold on a provider is going to provide for you because they care about you they're nurturing you and your household that's not prostitution y'all done got it mixed up nowadays talking about tricks talking about tricking talking about all of that that's not cute at all and god is not pleased with that number two the first one that i named i'm sorry not number two was that girls feel like they get in revenge on guys i don't know what this is out here now stuff called slut walks or stuff that where people talking about we taking back our bodies by effing man more that's backwards y'all think y'all are using man but y'all are literally giving them what they been asking for the whole time back when they used to hit it and quit it back in the day they were mad because y'all all was all in a ear now y'all just saying okay we hitting and quitting y'all too y'all giving them what they asked for you want to know why because i don't have to hear your hear your voice or deal with you like how they being asking all along so how is that getting back at men it's not the best way if y'all want to get back at men is to deny 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 say no 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 you say no until you run into the person you can say yes to because he's doing a b c and d until then, it's no, 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 no to everybody. No. Like, y'all need to learn this in y'all head. I don't know what happened where it's like this generation, our generation, 
is out of hand, but that's what's going on. It needs to be no, no, no. If you value yourself and you value your temple that you have been blessed with, it's no. It's no. It's always going to be no. So if you want respect, the number one reason in, in how to get respect is to not sleep with them. It's to not. They are going to treat you differently. And then when you sleep with them too soon too, you never know the amount of love you could have been showered with before you slept with them. That goes straight out the window. They're not doing nothing no more. They got what they wanted and they're on to the next with no commitment. They got what they wanted with no commitment and on to the next. And that's how men want it. And that's how y'all letting them do it. Y'all need to say no, no, no. Because you going to continue to get mishandled. And you going to wonder why this guy keep leaving you. This guy keep leaving you. It's because you in the same cycle. And then you just listening to other little typical advice. Wait this many days. Wait. No, wait for yourself. That's who you're waiting for. And you're not getting with them to that whole list is scratched off. I know what my list is as a Christian woman. What's y'all list? One more thing. Another thing is, this is the last thing before I go. A lot of y'all are appearing as tamed hoes to them. And I'll tell y'all what a tamed hoe is. A tamed hoe is, the only reason why you not a hoe is because you're in a relationship. So that means either before or after them, you're going to be called a hoe. And people are going to be able to speak on their girl. That's embarrassing. Who wants that? Nobody. So if you are or was a hoe, you need to go where nobody knew you was a hoe and find me in. Okay? Don't tell them about your past and be that way. Because a lot of y'all girls, I be hearing out here be like some, oh, when I'm done, I'll help. It's back outside. And for some reason, I'm thinking outside meant, oh, you just chilling, having fun and all of that. I've been hearing from a lot of people that mean getting with a lot of guys. No, that means you're a tamed hoe. It take a relationship to stop you from effing a whole bunch of guys. What guy would want that? Y'all need to be preparing yourselves before y'all get into a relationship. You get what I'm saying? You need to work on yourself as a person before you get in a relationship. Not be a hoe outside of a relationship. Then when you're in a relationship, that's the only thing stopping you. They have a tame hoe. Most people know that. I don't know what's not clicking in y'all head. It like, is this new to anybody? Like, anybody who watching this, like, let me know down below if you didn't know you was a tamed hoe. Because that's what a tamed hoe is. You're a hoe. The only thing that's stopping you is a relationship. Nobody wants a girl who's going to be a hoe before and after. Because knowing you a hoe, too, you could F their friends. That's embarrassing. They are not going to be that bothered by like a lot of y'all think guys be like, yeah, I hurt him. No, you hurt yourself. Because they just going to be like, yeah, these hoes are the street and move on to the next. So y'all need to get this hoism or whatever the F it is out of y'all system and let it go. And never speak of it again and stray on a new path. Okay, don't be a tame hoe. Don't be a tamed hoe. Okay, that might be my new thing. Don't be a tamed hoe because it's not cute at all. You don't need to be out in these streets with a whole bunch of randoms because you're not in one relationship. You're a hoe. You know different from the other people who a lot of y'all be talking down on and y'all just like them. Ooh, y'all hear that? It's thundering like crazy. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, stay pretty, stay blessed, stay kind, stay a little bit wretched just in case they'll get ugly. And bye, y'all.